Fajardo could not get it underneath. Gila's lead is only eight. What a turnover. by McCarthy. It's a key defensive stop here for the Philippines. Brownlee to Ramos. Money on the three. Ramos. And again, a basket coming off a pass. Costly turnover. It went down by just six. Instead, they are behind now by 11 as Dwight Ramos has put in his 14-point basket. Now as a team best or a team best 19 points. Liguara forced to a difficult shot. High screen provided by Deguara. McCarthy could not get his grip or his footing. And a hook called on June Marfardo was deemed uh, to clip his defender. Look at this. Roundy with 12 assists. Or 13 assists out of the 21 for Gilas Pilipinas. Dwight Ramos has been the best offensive weapon here for the Philippines all match long. Dwight Ramos, six in the first quarter, one in the second, nine in the third. Three points here so far in the fourth. Good defense for Gilas Pilipinas. This plays with so much control. Talking about Dwight Ramos and very accurate outside shooter. And that's another three. For Gilas Pilipinas this time on the other corner by Mason Amos. Five three-point baskets for the Philippines in the first quarter. None in the second. Three in the third. Two here so far in the fourth. And Cabogno trying to make things happen now for the Mustangs. Able to draw a foul and says hi to the entire Gilas Filipinas bench. They close out against Amos. As you mentioned, a very good floor spacer. Known for his outside shooting. Knocks down the left or deep left three ball. Cabogno will be at the free throw line for a pair of shots. He has 11 points. Seven rebounds and four assists. He has really stood as the veteran and the leader of the Taiwan Mustangs. No doubt. With him inside, there's more control. There's lesser turnovers. Better direction in terms of execution. You know, Coach, as we obviously... Ang ibibida talaga natin dito is our Gilas Pilipinas, right? But just to express our excitement then for this Taiwan squad because they recently... Yung, yung, ano, yung pagpapasalamat. Yeah, uh, our thanks and, you know, we wish them well in their upcoming competitions because they just recently announced also the signing of three and three players they yes. had to their squad. And Cook, the Marcus Cousins, and of course uh, Dwight Howard. This is a uh, fixture in the Asian tournament, by the way. A competition wherein there are at least three other Filipino teams competing. Well, even in this team, the Filipinos of the Taiwan Mustangs really showing out. McCarthy hitting the three. Only a nine-point game with two and 43 left. Lopez, tough task of guarding Brownlee. Amos passes to Ramos. Corner three, missing. But look at Brownlee, steal the rebound from Deguara. Missing, however, was Gilas. Amos to Ramos. Ramos to Amos. Sounds good. <laughs> Perfect fit. Lopez, floater down the lane. No oh, good. Miller with a rebound. The kick out. Come on, not for three. No. And Soto secures it for Gilas. So the three possession lead here for Gilas Pilipinas. Ramos. They go to Brownlee down in the post. There's a switch. And that is a well-ran play. They saw the Guara switch to Brownlee, and that must have opened Kai Soto to exactly. get it to him. That was a cross match that led to Kai Soto being defended by a smaller cover. Another perfect feed coming from Justin Brownlee. Assist number 14, perhaps, or 15 for Brownlee. Philippines with 23 assists out of 28 main field goals. Brownlee, 15 assists wow. in this match. 12 points, 15 assists, 5 rebounds. Like you said, only 12 points from JB. We're so used to him being able to score so much more. And maybe... He brings out the best in the rest yeah, of his teammates. Exactly. And he makes them look good. And then he strikes when he needs to. 
And I think something we learned in the international game, it's not about one or two superstars. It's about the team being able to function as a unit. As Deguara just moving all the defenders that surrounded him underneath. And how difficult is it? It is it's good for Deguara to get closer to the basket when he receives that pass from outside the restricted zone. Sam Deguara. It wasn't the easiest time for him. He really was clobbered underneath. Only 3 for 10 from the field. It was good for 10 points, or for 9 points. He can get his 10th point from the free throw line. But even there, coach, it hasn't been easy for him. Only 3 for 8 from the line. He makes that one, though. 10 points and 12 rebounds for Samuel Deguara, the 7 foot 6. Maltese player of the Taiwan Mustangs. This is the second rebound, Soto. Newsom. Yabao <laughs> passes to Ramos. Soto shoots over De Guara, comes up short. Rebound taken by Miller. Gilas Filipinas up by 10 with a minute and 15 left. Tabagnot uses his veteranship against the younger player but could not get the basket. Foul given up by McCarthy. The Philippines gave up 32 points to the Mustangs in the first 20 minutes. And only allowed 30 points in the last two quarters. You know what's funny is that the entire Phil Sports Arena, I was trying to make what they were cheering. They were chanting. Now you know. They were chanting number two. And they were calling for Coach Chris Gavina <laughs> to put in Jeff Yan. And they got their wish. Yan is now on the court. Soto against Iguara. It's Newsom. Out to Perez. Will take the three. CJ will not make it. Rebound taken by Lopez. Look and listen how alive this crowd is. As Gilas Filipinas gets closer and closer to getting this win. Giannis fouled. He will hit to the line to the delight of this Philippine crowd. <laughs> I'm not sure if everyone here is a relative of Jeff Yan. is also applauding. Gave in to the request of... Uh, and they're now chanting MVP. <laughs> what a fun crowd we have inside this arena. You have to love Filipino basketball fans. Definitely uh, treated to a big show here by Gilas Filipinas and the Taiwan the crowd cheers Jeff Yan as if that basket was a, a game winner. <laughs> He'll have one more. He trims the deficit down to nine. Now it's down to eight. Even Jeff Yan is like, what's going on? <laughs> but they love him. Here's Otana. Down to the last 20 seconds. Guinness Filipinas will take the win here. What's the key takeaway here in this match, coach? The defensive adjustments that have been made have been excellent in the last two quarters. Points of attack, as well as Kevin Kerbao scores. His first two points for Guinness Filipinas in this match. Here's Yan again. Might attack, leads it to the Guara. They will not have enough time. The final score. It's 74 to 64. Gilas Filipinas takes a win in this send-off friendly game against the Taiwan Mustangs. Certainly the way that we wanted to kick start this preparation in their